Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch, our starter in this one, Andrew Heaney. What do we need to know here? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. Here's the veteran outfielder, Mookie Betts. For the Dodgers, the right fielder, Mookie Betts. Fouls one away and now three and two. The pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Simeon. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers, so we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the mound, yeah, there's a good chance that there'll be some balls that fly a long way. But you can't get too big in your swing. Otherwise, you'll be really frustrated after this one. Here's a one-two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Dodgers down in order. Now the Rangers will get their first crack. We're scoreless. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and on the hill, Tony Gonsolin. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Here is Marcus Simeon. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. That one deep left field and forget it. He circles the bases and they grab the lead. It's one nothing. Just an excellent swing all the way around and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up and the batsman carried it out of here. Now it's Corey Seager. And the righty deals. Out there to center. DeLuca makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. Nathaniel low up to hit. Left-hand hitter waits. Here's a high fly ball out to center. DeLuca under it. And there's two down. Batting four. The right fielder. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. He's a guy Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. 
definitely one of the best arms in the sport. That Ball. one misses. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Ball. Pitch misses there. And now three balls and a strike. And there's ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very that aggressive secondary lead. So if all down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. And a pitch out, but no steal, and it's ball two. Garcia, the runner at first with two gone. Swings and misses. Two balls, two strikes. Pickoff throw. Garcia dives back in safely. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. But they're off to a good start as they pick up. Back here at the ballpark, second inning, set to go. And now J.D. Martinez. The wind of the pitch. And now two and two. Swings and misses. Had him out front for strike three. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. And he deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boo. The electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One two now. Swings and misses struck him out. Dodgers go down quietly and it remains one nothing. And welcome back. Lead Bottom of the second. The now the catcher for the Rangers, the Jonah Heim. Ball to strike. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Off the plate, and it's two and two. It's a good take. Line drive, Adam in center field. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there, nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. And one and two, Gonsolin. Not a big strikeout guy, but still very effective as far as starting pitchers go. One of those guys that involves the defense and really gets him involved in the action. Next oh. offering misses, 
The count now two, two and two. two he moves the ball around all the quadrants of the strike zone and will add and subtract velocity. And because of that, he gets the weak contact. It's all about missing the barrel of the bat. Fly ball center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. Batting eight. The designated hitter. Ezekiel. Two outs, bases empty. Oh, and stepping in is the speedy Ezekiel Duran. The pitch. And yeah, that's in for a strike. It seems like this type of guy is kind of a dying breed nowadays. Well, exactly. When teams are looking for high velocity, high strikeout rates, a guy like this doesn't necessarily do that. So in order to really appreciate how... Well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. And the Rangers set down in order. They lead it 1-0. Welcome back. On to the third inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Johnny DeLuca. Johnny DeLuca. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Over to low. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The shortstop. Miguel Rojas. Miguel Rojas at the play. The wind and the pitch. And now it's even up. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Next offering is in the dirt. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. Out towards left center, Tavares settles under it. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Batting nine, the second baseman. Yanni Hernandez Yanni steps Hernandez. to the plate for the Dodgers. The wind of the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning, here's Leody Tavares. Ball to strike, the pitch. And fouled off. And a ball in two strikes. Missed inside, inside with the curve. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Fouls one off, two and two.
Here comes a pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. That's, That's the off ball. the mark. And now it's three and two. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count no kind of tells you that five. that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. Glide out his first time. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. The 1-1. One, one. And that outside. one just missed off the outside edge. Throw to first. Simeon back hey. in. Simeon leads off first with one away. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. He's going, he's going. Runner on the goal. Pitch oh, misses in. Throw oh, save. That's a stolen base. Well, he's really showing us the dynamic skill set he brings to the field on this one. Homered earlier, now he swipes second, showing off the speed. Really fun to watch him play the game. Got him. Breaking ball clips the outside edge. Just locked him up right there for the second no, out, and that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking no, about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Whoa. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the off to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. First and second, two down. Fastball in for a strike, and the count is one and two. That's a little bit low. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Broken bat, roller to first. He steps on the bag, out number three. Rangers leave a pair, but they're on top, one nothing. And welcome back. Start of the fourth, and now it's Mookie Betts. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base slugging, too. This one high in the air to left center. And puts the squeeze on that one. One down. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Grounded out his first time. The 2 1. On the ground to the left. Boots it. Run around at first with one gone. And now it's going to be Will Smith. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Falling behind 2 and 1. Two balls, one strike. The kick of the pitch. Runner goes. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Hey. 
And there's a ball. That's a really good take. J.D. Martinez up next for the Dodgers. Payoff pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the pitch. Got him. That's out number two. Right at the start to this game on the mound, looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Now it's J.D. Martinez. The 1-1. Out to short. On to Simeon. And that is that. So the Dodgers leave one. They still trail 1-0. Bottom of the fourth, down the third baseman, Josh Young. The third baseman. Young. That one ball. close, ruled a ball. Two ball one. two. Next offering Three misses one. down and away. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. The pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout, and there's one down. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Oh, Got a pitch to hit range. and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Here's a 1-1. Called strike right there. Kicks and fires. Off the plate inside. And the count is even two and two. On the ground to third. And that's a fair ball. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now, Travis Jankowski. That one lifted to left. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And it'll be runners at second and third, only one away. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. <laughs> Ezekiel Duran will hit next. Popped out, foul ground, first time through. Back to work, 3-2 now. Stays alive. One down, runners at second and third. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. That one no, missed. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. 
the other way. And that's a fair ball. One runs in. Two runs are in. Around third. Relay throw home. See. And they lead by four. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So great job there stepping up to the challenge. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing. He... Now on the bump, Yancy Almonte. Now it's Marcus Simeon. He's already homered in this game. Runner takes off for third. That's in for a strike. The throw, tag, and he's out. The one, two. Got him swinging. So they get three runs, three hits, no errors, no one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Rangers four and the Dodgers nothing. We go to the top of the fifth and at the plate for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. Swing and a ball popped up, and that will drop foul. You know, these Dodgers, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup ball. capable of sparking something, but it just Two hasn't ball. happened for them yet. Two-two down. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The why to kick the pitch. Popped in the air, left field. Taylor out of the play. And there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. 1-1 one, one now. That's and now it's one and two. And he hits a ground ball right side. Low takes it Out. himself. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Two outs, space is empty. Johnny DeLuca, the next to hit. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Swing and a ball popped up. Simeon under it. And that is that. Dodgers down in order. They trail it here 4 0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So now it's Corey Seager. That's shortstop. Corey Seager. And now two and one. Well, these Rangers putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Oh. That one off the mark. Three balls and a strike. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So, man aboard. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. He's 0 for 1. The 1-2. 
Good eye oh. right there. Two, two. And a pitch. Misses okay. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, you know, this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Line drive. He's got it. Runner tags it second. The throw in. He's in there. The battle in the third baseman. Two on with one out. Here's Josh Young, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Seeger on third. Low at first. One gone. Foul off down the right side. The 2 2. And now it's oh, filled God. up. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Puts it away for the out. The catcher, number 28. Joda. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim, one for two. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. And the right hander deals. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Swings through it for the K. The high heat, too much on that one. Yeah. Now who is this? Ringing my phone at three in the morning. I'm in the zone. Leave me alone, please. I've got a... Welcome back. Start of the six. John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Miguel Rojas. That one fouled off, two and two. The pitch. And another oh, ball. Yeah. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Gets a piece and stays alive. On the ground, right side. Simeon, toss over to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Now batting, the second baseman, Yoni Hernandez. And next for L.A., Yanni Hernandez. A switch hitter batting right. Not even close there. Two and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Got it by him for the K. 
Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking right opposing here. batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. No, the next the offering misses. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Way inside, gets out of the way. Huh. He goes down looking. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Rangers four and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at the ballpark, where we go bottom six. Now the left fielder, the left Travis fielder. Jankowski. Yeah. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball. Today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Phil Bickford Number on the pitch 15. here. Phil. Now Bickford. here is Laoti Tavares. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Back to the top of the lineup. Marcus Simeon getting ready to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Right-hander kicks deals. Pulls that one foul. Right-handed reliever. Bounce to the left side. They take the force out. That's the inning. Rangers leave one, but they're in front 4-0. New inning getting started. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Here's a 1-1. No. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Number 58 getting loose out there. Burke, a left hander, also throwing. Here's a 2 1. No. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And now it's filled up. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Three, two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch, tailing away from the hitter, low and away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Got him looking for the K. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because Ward will get around the league in a hurry. Two and one to J.D. Into center. Tavares settles under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Dodgers go down quietly. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Seager stands in now. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. One and two here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Nathaniel Lowe now at the plate. And a one two. And yeah, that's too Ball high. Two. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. The no, biggest concern, other than injury, after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy will lose confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. Pay all pitch. Right through there, got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. The third baseman, Up next six. for the Rangers, Josh Young. Young. And a 1-1. Slice down the right side. Low, off of first with two away. The one one is fouled off. To third and that chance handled. And that is the inning. One left for Texas. They lead four nothing. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, number 58. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. This one in the air right field. Garcia settles under it. One away. The third base is number 13. And now it's Max, Max Muncy. Muncy. The 1 1. Off the plate. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Cody Bradford, the left hander, up and throwing. The 2 1. Ball three. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. That one is hammered right field. Garcia ranging back on it. And that one is out of here. Max Muncy leaves the yard. And they're on the board. It's 4-1.
Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. So digging in, Johnny DeLuca. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Way one high. Two. Got to keep things airtight defensively two right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Two and one now. That's a ball. Three ball. One strike. And okay. a big swing and a miss. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Dodgers claw back a bit with this homer. It's now 4 1. It's Major League Baseball on the show. On to the bottom of the eighth. Leading now it's going to be Rangers. Jonah Heim. The catcher. Jonah Heim. And there's a ball. And a 3-1 on the way. On the ground, right side, Hernandez. In plenty of time to first, one up, one down. Next up for now Texas, that. Travis so Jankowski. One for three. Jankowski. Ball on a strike. That's in there. In the air, left field, Taylor. Two outs, base is empty. So next to hit for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. The 1-1. One -one. Ball. That's down and in. Three ball, one strike. Two outs. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. One, two, three, go the Rangers as they hold on to a 4 1 lead. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Jose Leclerc. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Next offering upstairs. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's Mookie to hit. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder oh. in that bat. And that's outside. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Oh. 
Swing and a miss. That's strike two. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Righty delivers. And now the count filled up three and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swings and misses. Struck him out. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. The 1-1. One, one. Ball two. Two one. In the air, left field, down the line. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle-of-the-pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shelby. Thanks for joining us. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Rangers, four runs on five hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Dodgers, one run on two hits, no errors, and they left one man on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 47 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.